Hey what's up guys and it's that time again we're gonna talk about the Android 10.0 status for Samsung devices. I already made a video about the early changes with the One UI 2.0 in case you wanna see that link is in the description but it's time to answer the all important question when is your device will get this beast of an update so this list will be based on Samsung's official update pattern their official update policy that they follow each year so there will be some goodbyes to some legendary legend Last year, Samsung introduced the One UI update. It had so many different changes. It was a complete different look as well, which is why Samsung took so much time when updating your device. So this time, the looks are not drastically changed, so you can expect the update to arrive early. So the major legendary devices that won't be getting the update includes the Galaxy Note 8 and the Galaxy S8 family. That is indeed sad. Samsung has completed two major software updates for these phones. It came, it came with Android Nougat, so they got the major Oreo update and after that they got the major Android Pie update based on One UI. Now these phones will continue to get support for security updates for as long as possible and of course unofficially through XDA you will be able to update them to latest versions but through Samsung this is surely the end. Among these devices the Note Fan Edition will also not going to be updated. It's the oldest phone from Samsung that got the One UI update. If you guys remember the whole Note 7 situation this phone came later on with Oreo so so that makes it compatible for two years upgrade. So which is why Samsung updated this phone to Android 9.0 by based one UI. So that's the end of it. So S8 generation, Note 8 generation, and Note 7 family or Note FE family won't be getting this update. But the phones that will surely get the update and that are first in line are the Galaxy S10 family. So that includes four Galaxy S10 phones, including the S10 Plus 5G. We already have the beta in the works. So, so you can expect the beta to come sometime this month. The next in line is the Galaxy Galaxy Note 10 family, so that includes the Note 10 Plus and Note 10. Next in the line are the last year flagships, so that includes the Galaxy S9 family, the S9 and S9 Plus, and of course the Note 9. These phones came to the scene with Android Oreo, they got one UI update, and now this is going to be their last major update coming with Android 10. So two generation of Galaxy S series and two generation of Note series will be receiving this prestigious update, and from there on, we're moving towards the mid-range family. So all the Galaxy A series phones that were released this year are expected to receive this update. Galaxy A10 all the way up to A9 and if Samsung releases A71 and A91 or some other upgrades to A series every single A series phone will get Android 10 update. As for the older A series the A9 2018 the first phone to have quad camera is expected to get the Android 10 update along with the A7 2018. The Galaxy A6 2018 series is also expected to get the update which includes the A6 and A6 plus model. From there on we have the Galaxy J series which includes includes J6, J6 Plus, J8, J8 Plus. These phones are also in the list. And just like the 2019 Galaxy A series, the whole Galaxy M series will receive Android 10 update as well. These were some of the amazing battery beasts from Samsung. Uh, that includes M10, M20, M30, M40. Samsung is also planning a Galaxy M90, so that is included in this as well. As for the tablets, the latest tablets that Samsung announced will receive Android 10 update, obviously. Along with that, the Tab S4, the Tab S5e, the Tab have a 10.1 2019 and 2018 models both are expected to get Android 10 based One UI 2.0 update. And that's about it. These are the devices that are compatible with Samsung's official update policy, their update pattern. So, and these updates will get released in the order I just told you. So from Galaxy S10 to Note 10 to S9 and Note 9 family, then to the latest A series model, and from there on to J series and then M series. So if you have a mid-range model, and even if it's compatible, you might have to wait for the update. That's just how it is. Samsung cannot push update at the same time to all the devices. That's something I love about Apple and Google because when they push an update, it arrives to all the compatible devices at once, which is something that is not possible with Samsung. So you might have to wait, but good thing if you have a Galaxy S9, S10, Note 9, Note 10 series device, the update will come very soon. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.